Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Salem in turmoil, slaps, lies, and arrests shake the town. The upcoming days of our lives episodes promise unmissable drama. Dr. Rolf makes a shocking return, Holly stuns viewers with a slap to Sophia, and Sarah's silence causes major tension with Fiona. As Sarah's fake memory leads to Brady's arrest, Jada takes drastic action, while Johnny's growing jealousy over Chanel sparks even more chaos. With secrets and lies unraveling fast, Salem's biggest confrontations are just getting started. Don't miss a second. Preview for days of our lives week of September 30th, Holly slaps Dr. Rolf and returns Fiona is silenced by Sarah and Sophia. The teaser video for the September 30th to October 4th week's episode of Days of Our Lives indicates that Stefan Mara will approach Gabby Hernandez Mara's bedside. Gabby's near-death experience served as a wake-up call, and Stefan will implore her to forgive him and move on from their past. When Julie Williams learns that Abigail Mara is returning and the children are still in the dark, she will become agitated. Day's teasers claim Julie will pressure Chad DeMera to inform the kids that their mother is still alive, leading him to conclude she is correct. Chad will promise to tell Thomas and Charlotte DeMera the truth when they get down together next. Naturally, that will put Abigail in much more danger. She will detest the thought of disappointing the kids because Abigail isn't the genuine deal. He'll update Kate Roberts Brady on Hattie Adams' ultimatum over with Abe Carver. Kate and Abe will have to decide what to do because Hattie is threatening to leave body and soul if Bonnie Kiriakis isn't fired. Day's teasers indicate that Bonnie won't like how everything turns out, but Hattie will soon have cause for celebration. Sophia Choi is seen kissing Tate Black in the weekly preview video for Days of Our Lives, but she will want to do much more. Sophia will even confess to Holly Jonas that she is eager to get Tate in bed. Holly will get quite irrational after hearing that remark, and she will slap Sophia across the face in revenge. According to teasers for other days, Fiona Cook will confront Sarah Kiriakis about lying. Fiona will call Sarah out on her embellished account because she just feigned to remember that Brady Black was the driver of the vehicle. Sarah will make an effort to quiet Fiona despite her insistence that she is at fault. But, it appears like Eric Brady is listening in on days of our Live's weekly commercial. It would be interesting to see how much he hears and what he deduces. Brady will concede that he will go to jail during the interrogation, but Kristen D. Mara will make hints about her plan. It sounds like something nefarious and unlawful especially because Dr. Wilhelm Rolf will reportedly be involved. We'll bring you more guesses about what Dr. Rolf might help Kristen pull off because spoilers for Days of Our Lives suggest he always has a few tricks up his sleeve. Jada is prompted to arrest Brady by Sarah's memory, and Chanel becomes enraged at Johnny's jealousy. Friday is September 27, 2024, today on Days of Our Lives, Stephanie dreams of Alex, Eric wonders whether Xander was involved, and Chanel snaps at Johnny. Sarah lies to protect Xander and Brady. To express her gratitude for Stephanie's hard work during the photo shoot, Alex visits her flat. She gives him a tour of the proofs that Eric sent her. They both think the photos turned out fantastic, particularly the seductive one with Chanel. However, Stephanie isn't convinced Johnny will find it amusing. Alex notes that Chanel despises his guts and that they were acting. Still, at the shoot, they were becoming closer. He hopes their on-screen chemistry isn't ruined by it. Chanel gives Johnny the proof Stephanie sent her in their bedroom in the Demera mansion. According to Johnny, she looks stunning in each one. He murmurs, even this one, in reference to the photo of her and Alex. Although Johnny acknowledges that he was taken aback, he was also pleased by her skill to make it seem as though they were getting along. According to Chanel, Alex concurs that the romantic scene comes too soon. Johnny says that Leo turned down his request for a revision. 
Chanel is shocked that he did it behind her back. Johnny tells her that since he is the director, he may discuss anything with the chief writer. She angrily claims that although Alex and she had planned to speak with Kate, they had chosen to wait. Flippantly, Johnny wonders if she changed her mind since she's now comfortable with Alex. Perhaps a romantic moment with her new co-star wouldn't be such a horrible idea after all? She becomes even more enraged when he tosses her past with Alex in her face. She explains furiously that because it was so late, they had decided to wait until tomorrow. However, since she already feels insulted, he is free to think anything he pleases. Xander intends to place a gun in Brady's unconscious hand in his bedroom and pull the trigger. But Jada stops him when she knocks on the door. As she walks in, he keeps the weapon hidden. According to Jada, Sarah contacted and recalled that Brady had been driving the car the night of the collision. Brady is startled awake by her and claims he wasn't drinking. Because of Sarah's hit and run, Jada puts him under arrest. Xander fumes. Alex claims that he can't sleep at Stephanie's apartment because he is too excited about filming sequences tomorrow. She invites him to join her in watching Ted. Later, as the show comes to a close, Alex finds Stephanie dozing off with her head resting on his shoulder. In her dream, she is the one with Alex in the picture, and he is the one who wants to make intense, passionate love to her. Like a peacock, he wants to ravish her. Stephanie looks scared as she jolts to consciousness. Much like a peacock? She hides what she was grinning and talking about in her dream, embarrassed. Alex teases her with amusement. Chanel hears Johnny's apology in their bedroom. When he watched her and Alex smothering each other during the picture shoot, it just threw him off. She retorts that she was carrying out the task for which he had suggested her. Although it was a performance, you can tell how furious she is. She kicks open the restroom door after stomping there. Xander enters the bedroom with Sarah and Fiona as Sarah is telling them about her memory. Fiona leaves, leaving Sarah to confess to lying to Jada in order to stop Brady from being killed by Xander. That was his assumption. She was unable to simply go off to sleep knowing what Xander had planned. Brady wouldn't pass away, Xander wouldn't go to jail, and they would receive the justice that Xander so passionately wants if she just remembered. She could only save Brady and him in this way. She must now accept the lie, yet it is preferable to being alone without him. Eric arrives at the station after learning about Brady through a tip. He walks inside the questioning room where Brady is sipping coffee. Brady swears he didn't consume any booze. After visiting Eric, he immediately returned home, which is when he first felt off. In the square, he did, however, run into a man who knew him from AA. He remembers getting cut when shaking hands with her using his ring. Tate had to help him into bed when he got home. The next memory he has is of waking up to find Jada in conversation with Xander. Johnny apologizes to Chanel once more in bed. When they shoot her first scenes tomorrow, he knows she'll kill it. She flips off the light by rolling over. She will see him on set tomorrow as she has an early call. They are lying apart from one another. Setting off from Stephanie's apartment, Alex clumsily says she'll be on set tomorrow. Her presence will be appreciated, he thinks, as moral support. She claims that's the purpose of friends. Correct? With a cheeky reply, that's right buddy, Alex saucily exits the building. Steph shuts it behind him and walks away thoughtfully. Fiona goes back to the closed bedroom door between Xander and Sarah. From the hallway, she hears Sarah complaining about how much she detests lying about Brady even though she knows he is guilty. She is aware that she is not putting an innocent guy in danger, and Xander can finally put an end to his one-man fight for justice. Xander only wants the person who wronged her to get what's coming to them. Fiona looks around the corridor, worried. Inside the interrogation room, 
Brady looks at his hand, puzzled. Jada tells Eric in the squad room that Xander was in Brady's room when she arrived. Eric is left wondering why Xander was actually there as she moves away. After Bonnie receives unfavorable news on Days of Our Lives, Alex goes to Stephanie for guidance. Sarah lies September 27th Days of Our Lives, for the greater good. After a while, Xander and Brady will come to value Sarah's lies. While Sarah Horton doesn't demand her spouse to be entirely honest, she has improved him as a guy. Sarah Horton is generally a fairly honest person. But recently, Xander has gone back to his previous habits. And all of it was brought on by the hit and run that left her crippled. Days of Our Lives Friday, September 27th episode featured Sarah lying for two very valid reasons. Lying is acceptable when it serves the greater good. Our hope was that during their altercation, Sarah would accuse Fiona of hitting her while driving under the influence and frame Brady in the process. Regretfully, such was not the case. Days will extend our wait for that reward by a little bit. Sarah, on the other hand, informed Xander's mother that her son had informed her about Fiona and Brady. Then she claimed that in order to prevent Xander from killing Brady, she had contacted the police. Fiona reassured Sarah that she need not worry, as she was unaware of Brady's relationship with Xander at the time of their hookup. Fiona would never hang around with someone who could do something so terrible, therefore Brady and her were no longer a thing or a fling. Then Sarah told a falsehood that killed two birds with one stone. She recalled that Brady was the one who had struck her, she informed Fiona and the police. That after weeks of forgetting everything, she could see him so vividly behind the wheel. According to this fabrication, Brady was going to be arrested by Jada, the lone police officer working at the Salem Police Department. Brady was in bed, of course, stoned, and Xander was nearly looming over him. Naturally, everyone believes he was intoxicated, but Xander and the audience know differently. Brady is once again in the thick of things, but fortunately Sarah's deceit accomplished the goal. Actually, he was exactly where he wanted to be the entire time. Can Xander be satisfied with this arrest even though he knows Sarah lied about remembering? We have a feeling that's not good. Sarah was lying to Fiona as well, and it was clear that she was observing her closely to see how she would respond. We're therefore leaning in Sarah's direction once more because Fiona committed the horrible act. Why is she so reluctant to publicly accuse Fiona? She wishes to safeguard Xander and Fiona's recently formed bond. Perhaps she believes his mother will come clean on her own and wants to check if she has any kindness in her. Or, more sinisterly, she's been considering something amusing but improbable. How do you feel about Sarah lying to further the common good? Tell us in the comments below. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.